but when you're moving that snow around today, it is really, really heavy stuff. Yeah, it feels like cement, yeah. right? As we uh, take a look at our conditions outside right now, still some cleanup ongoing. You can see from our North Situate camera, too, it is damp this morning. We got some light rain falling, and that rain going to just add to the mess that's out there. What roadways are slush, slushy and waterlogged because what's happening is we have leaves in the storm drains, and now we have snow in the storm drains, and so the water is not able to clear off the roadways. So plan on some deep puddles as you begin your commute this morning. That view from Oakland Beach and Warwick showing a snowy winter-like look. And here's some of the snowfall totals from Woonsocket and West Greenwich, seven inches of snow, Attleboro with about six. And further south and east, it was about three to six inches of snow. In fact, looking at the latest reports, this is kind of a rough estimate of what fell last night. Three to six inches of snow, uh, three in the Newport area, closer to six inches in, say, Barrington and Warwick. And then as you headed north into Providence County in the western part of Kent County, that's where you saw those six to eight inch totals. The amounts in Plymouth and out towards the Cape were about a coating to two inches of snow. Our live Doppler radar this morning still tracking those rain showers. That's what you were seeing our Situate camera. We've got some along the coastline, too. And in addition to that, some strong wind gusts this morning. And that's why our threat tracker still elevated. It is sloppy and it's damp out there. So some slow travel for your trip into work this morning in the afternoon and through the weekend. We'll keep our threat tracker low. Right now, those winds really picking up overnight, gusting to 35, 40 miles per hour along the Rhode Island coastline and offshore. We've got gusts over 40 miles per hour. The strongest winds in the next couple of hours could be as high as 50 miles per hour out of the northeast along the Rhode Island shore. Out places like Cape and Block Island could see gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Further inland, peak wind gusts should stay at around 40. The other issue is the river flooding. We have some minor river flooding along the Taunton River in Massachusetts, the Patuxent River in Cranston and Warwick, and the Pocketuck River in Westerly. And that's expected to continue today and possibly into the weekend. Our temperatures, at least, they're above freezing. So good news as you head out. The roads are wet and not icy. 39 in Providence, 36 in Smithfield. Feels in the 20s at times when you add in that wind. Their commute into work this morning is sloppy. The evening hours, though, it's drier, clearing, and those winds diminishing. Here's our storm center. It's going to continue to lift up to the north and east this morning over us. And as it does, we get those strong winds and lingering rain showers this morning. The afternoon dries out, but the temperatures cool everywhere. We'll be falling from the uh, low 40s along the coastline back into the 30s. Five o'clock in the evening, cold and dry, but trouble free if you're headed out and about this evening as the temperatures into the evening staying above freezing. So we will see some diminishing winds by the end of the day today. Westerly, Charlestown, Wickford, some of the warmer spots. You head further inland and you're a little cooler, uh, gusty early in the afternoon. Maybe some late day breaks of sun. It's kind of a race between the sun going down and the skies trying to clear out. So a lot of clouds around even after the rain has come to an end. But we will see some clearing this evening. And overnight tonight, our temperatures fall to near the freezing mark. So we'll, we'll, we will wake up tomorrow morning to cold and dry conditions. I have our skies mainly sunny for tomorrow afternoon. Just a few fair weather clouds building in as the temperatures stay below normal. They'll be warmer than today. For Sunday, it's cooler. Clouds on the increase Sunday and some rain and snow showers possible Sunday night into Monday morning. Highs in the upper 40s. Travel conditions next week looking cold and dry here in New England. An early call on Thanksgiving. More of the same cold temperatures, but it does look storm free. Full forecast.